parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, this week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we talk about pay-per-view parties flashing back there. Who do you think is coming next from NXT? And of course, some grand, grand dreams for the WWE Network. All that and more mayhem. Get your indie fix at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. Get 15% off any digital download with the coupon code TUNNY. Want to support the show directly? Donate as little as a dollar an episode to get your name in the show with more benefits on the way. Check out our page at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertise. Just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. It's that time to get mayhemy. It's time to talk about pro wrestling like adults who like their chai tea latte. Yay! <laughs> it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 407. Uh, of course, uh, live from the studios, Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I am your master of mayhem ceremonies, Sorgatron, at Sorgatron on the tweeters. You can tweet. You can troll me. I have at it. I just like to feel loved. Uh, with me tonight, a slim crew for the first half here, uh, but a wide-spanning crew, to say the least, all enjoying the East Coast fine weather, is yes. one Mad Mike from the Bronx. Thank you for calling me Slim, Sorg. Hey! <laughs> yes, because that's what all three of us have in common to here tonight. Yep. Obviously, if <laughs> yes, you're on we, video. For those of you not watching the video, we all weigh 110 pounds put together. So Suck it in, boys! We're talking about wrestling! <laughs> Bobby F. J-Town also joining the slimmest of them all from Johnstown, PA. I'm starting to build my boat. <laughs> Or the coming flood in Johnstown again. It's inevitable. I was say, when all that snow melts, you are going to be screwed, aren't you, Bobby? Yeah. It is yeah. inevitable. And of course, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, edition for the week. Uh, you can join us here live every Tuesday night if you so desire at live.sogatronmedia.com around 8, no, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, followed immediately, of course, by the Indie Mayhem Show. Of course, tonight we have scheduled Keith Hot, former IWC Tag Champion with the great Colin Delaney. You might know that name uh, if you might watch wrestling. Also, hey, thanks to uh, Basic Sickness, basicsickness.com uh, for the great intro we've been enjoying for a while here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go check out that track and others for free download over at basicsickness.com. Of course, you can find us at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. All the stuff, including the wrap-ups, the indie mayhem shows, the after shows, uh, and other ways you can help support the show. Um, you can, e uh, you can uh, find us in uh, audio and video forums across the internet on iTunes, on Stitcher, on YouTube, on Spreaker, um, a little bit on SoundCloud, I believe, as well, on Blip TV, on your Roku device, um, anywhere you want to receive the mayhem. If there's anything missing, let us know. We want to get out there to as many people as possible if there's a place you think we need to be. Um, and of course, uh, drop us a line at that email address. Good times! <laughs> Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, or you can drop us a phone line message at 412... No, no. 412-206-WMS0. You know, I got a challenge for you guys. You know, maybe we'll get a little sounder here, so it sounds like there's a million of us when we do this, like when we have the crazy hangouts. Mm -hmm. uh, um, this week, I want you to call that number, 412-206-WMS0, and give us your greatest... Your, give us your best good times. Um, oh. We need you need to contact Mayhem Missy and Chad the Shad. That's right. Also, well, and Doc Remedy. I'm sure they still listen. We can get everyone to do a good like we oh, we can have a chorus of good times. Yes, and we <laughs> want you. We want your voice in on it. Um, we also uh, we also want to hear your voice a few other ways. Uh, if you're on iTunes listening to us or watching us, please comment. Please, uh, that helps out mm -hmm. and other people discovering the show. And the more people discover the show, the bigger we can get, the more fun we can have here. Um, and 
And of course, another way you can help out, just like the WrestlingRevolution.net has, is join us on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, where you can donate as little as, as a penny per episode that we put out. It get, you get charged at the end of the month. It's easy to do. You can set a limit so we don't put out 40 episodes and, 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 and you get charged a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, if you uh, contribute right now to the Patreon over there, just $1 at least, uh, we're going to give you a mention on the show. If you got something that needs plug, you'll, you'll check out. You'll want just people to follow you on Twitter. Just go ahead on there. Let us know what you want to plug when you sign up for that. Uh, but thanks, Rev Rev Wrestling Revolution, uh, the W Revolution on Twitter, and of course the Rev Rev Wrestling Revolution. I believe both .com and .net, uh, mm -hmm. according to my notes here. Uh, so go check them out. They're a great site over there. Great message board. They've been supporting us for a while here on the internet. So let's start this show the only way we know how. What you the, forget. What the? Uh, you forget? Wait. Um, <laughs> you hold on, hold on. I know this one. You got this. Come on. Is it starts with the remember knee. Remember when? No, 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 damn it! No, no, you ruined damn it already, Mike. I bring. Let's have some. Of let's have some good times and get to the emails. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah. First one, of course, from the great, the great email writer of late, uh, Dustin, and we'll have a few returns later, of course. Dear May, what did I copy this wrong? No, nope. no, that's right. <laughs> it's dramatic. Uh, note, to follow the example WWE has set of Cesaro Big E, I will now be referring to the Wrestling Mayhem show simply as May moving <laughs> forward. Nice. Okay. All right. That makes more sense. So I do not reread these, obviously. Uh, sometimes everything comes... You know, some people I just trust when they send us an email, and this is one of them. Um, sometimes everything comes together well on the go-home show before a pay-per-view. This week's Raw is an example of just that. Mm -hmm. I, I want to add, I don't think the Royal Rumble did <laughs> in a comparison, and I think it was a good indicator, too. Back to the email. Uh, while there was uh, definitely some filler, as expected, with a three-hour program, for me, this was one of the better Monday Night Raws in some time. Questions? Number one, Titus O'Neil has to have uh, one of the worst catchphrases used loosely, in quotes there, um, with this re weird rah, rah thingy. Um, uh, 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 Sorks. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not the man anymore. Uh, what is uh, one catchphrase that you just didn't like from a wrestler? Um, I got Ooh. some bad news. No, I like the catchphrase. I do everything that follows it. Oh, you it. dare say bad news, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I played with the Legos the other night. That, that was Legos. crazy. Um, bad <laughs> news, Barrett is Lord Business. <laughs> do you guys have anything in mind? Um, it's showtime. Yeah, I've always I've always hated yeah. Sting's catchphrase. I haven't liked it either. I haven't liked it because I'm sorry. When you say it's showtime in the middle of a show, you clearly don't know when the show starts. Well, the show already starts at five minutes after the hour all the time because it's on freaking TBS. So he's all, he's already confused like the rest of us. Maybe he's just big fan of the pay 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 network Showtime. Mm. <laughs> oh, the programming. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Why do you like the end of Dexter? Anyways, uh, what about you, Bobby? Mine would be the big show when he just goes, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It's no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Those are, those are good answers. Those are good answers. Number two, uh, Joe Biss Park. I think everybody here has been watching TNA, right? I just watched mine today, actually. Nope. Uh, had a great promo this week in which he switched from one personality to another seamlessly. Can you recall a great promo from years past that impressed you because they weren't you weren't expecting it out of the character playing that role? I think a lot of Foley, right? And mm. I mean, maybe it's just because the character is kind of similar-ish, you know, um, that he's this you know kind of crazy character and has multiple personalities. Um, I, I agree about the Abyss stuff. Uh, Mike, I, what you've been saying lately about it, it's about the biggest, best payoff, longest payoff we've had in a well, long time. Yeah. I love just dropping in. I love that promo last week on TNA with um, Abyss and, and Eric Young. It, it was so great. It, 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 it's like he feels like the only character they've acknowledged they have history with. Yeah, and even... And even though they skirt a lot of Abyss's actual history, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like it's very odd because, like, if even just by 
the sheer knowledge of Abyss's storyline history in TNA, you know he doesn't have a brother. It would have been mentioned. We've yeah. seen his dad, like Dr. James Mitchell, Sinister Minister, whatever you want to call him. That was supposed to be Abyss's father. Mm -hmm. So we knew, like, <laughs> if, the, if they were consistent, we all should have known that there is no Joseph Park. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like it they're was, really giving him a hand in this or something. I, I, I want to know who's the mastermind between this whole thing. I think it has to be him. It has to be. And if <laughs> it feels like anything good about TNA comes from the wrestler themselves. You know, like they can get away with a little bit more, and that's where certain things like this are going to flourish. I think. So. And my favorite part, like you can tell when he was giving that promo, like he's been writing this promo for a year, yeah. at least. Yeah, like he's been writing it. He's been working on how this reveal was going to go for over a year. Mm -hmm. well, but going back to it, was there anybody else that surprised you in that such way? Well, didn't Mick have one where he went between all three of his characters? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it was kind of like a little bit of camera trickery when when he did yeah. it, but I don't think like like cohesively as one person yeah. went back and forth. I don't think that that really happened. Um, but I, um, Mark Henry, Mark oh, Henry in his retirement. Yeah, promo. that was great because he came out. He was smiling, Mark Henry. He was <laughs> dancing, Mark Henry. He had that awesome suit, and then he just turned and inducted Cena into a Hall of Pain. Oh like, yeah, just turned on a dime. That was, was the best thing of the summer. And who yeah. saw that coming out of Mark Henry? Seriously. He was crying at one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good. Really good. All right. Uh, question number three. He says, Bad News Barrett wrecked a perfectly good Lego setup in typical playground fashion. What is the most childish act you can remember being shown on a wrestling program? You guys got anything? I do. Okay. Anything with Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> it's accurate. It's, it's yeah. completely accurate. It was a great gimmick, but yeah, that was all childish stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Mike? <laughs> all right, I got to say, when um, when Triple H was trying to bring Shawn Michaels back into DX, and he found him working as a short order cook, mm -hmm. yeah. and the little girl was making him angry, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but that thing just popped in my head. <laughs> and he was getting so angry at a little child that he just super kicked her in the face. Um, I'm gonna go with the horrible Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell and Donald Trump. Oh yeah, fight oh, they had God. with the wrestlers. Like, like I mean that is it was the stupidest thing. Like sometimes they just and you saw this with the Attitude Area, but they just did stupid looking and sounding and and experienced things. And it's like, like that's when you say, okay, you know, the good and the bad of Vince being the stopgap for everything that happens there is sometimes he has a really bad idea that he insists on. <laughs> and he's probably the only one that thinks it's good. Um, good dot. Huh? Well, do you remember, <laughs> um, when, remember when Linda was running for Senate and they had the whole dream sequence of Freddie Prince Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> And he used Linda's, like, political opponent, his banner as toilet paper. Yep. That's Vince for you. Vince I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes Vince just is going to do something that he thinks is funny. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that plane ride he had where he came up with the uh, Spirit Squad and the Christian Blue Dot thing was called the Plane Ride of Bad Ideas. By somebody. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. Um, and right back to the email. It says for me, uh, Dustin says uh, I always remember the tantrum that Chris Jericho threw on Monday Nitro. He grabbed a chair and just began hitting the guardrail and ring post while there uh, were real world frustrations that called Y two J the snap. I remember the commentary team making him out like a kid throwing a fit, which really I think the, the was the point of that whole thing. It, you know, isn't that funny? Because Christian did something similar. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where he was on a losing oh, streak. Oh, Crybaby Christian yeah. was one of my favorite versions of Christian. <laughs> oh, Especially when he had DDP it. trying to motivate him. Oh, okay. That's where it turned around, you know. Positively Paige, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now now every morning, Positively Paige barks at me <laughs> yoga moves. And, 
Somebody made out the better deal on that. If they ever, if they ever brought him back, they should bring him back. Not even as a wrestler, just as a full time yoga instructor trying to whip someone into shape. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I don't like a tensai. You know, what if he goes full or circle? a Brutus Clay? Well, I think that what, would work. What if DDP goes full circle and becomes a manager again? Yeah, yeah, he like, was originally like a he started, manager. Like he started, that'd be great. Wasn't he for Vinny Vegas, something, which was I, Diesel? Something like that. Uh, he managed Scott Hall as the Diamond Stud first, and then he managed Vinny Vegas. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> no wonder he was buddies with those guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, back to the email. It says, that's my time, guys. I'll try my best to make these emails shorter and shorter as I feel my weekly novels are becoming more <laughs> of a deterrent to others who might want to send in something. Uh, yeah, they're a little daunting. They're probably a little intimidating to the other emailers. Uh, I, I thank the, the May once again for the chance to get some great wrestling discussion mixed in with some hilarious conversations. Regards, Dust. <laughs> Note, I have decided to drop the in as it was negatively impacting my ability to market my brand. Nice. That's, I that's will be fair. shorting my name to Sorg <laughs> Which, because that's my name. I can I short am, mine to Bob. I'm, I'm shortening mine to Ma. Or Bobby FJ. Ma. <laughs> now, now Mad Mike is just the beginning of a Lady Gaga song. By the way, emailers, do not be um, in any way negatively influenced by the size of Dustin e Dustin's email, because as we all know, it is not the size that counts, it is the quality in how we read them. <laughs> and that's always negative. Yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> all right. How about Bobby? You got the next one here. Good evening. As you hopefully can see with the attached pick, Jen is hard at work on the main attraction for Sunday, the Pinata of Hate. <laughs> As you can see, there is plenty of room for everyone's personal hate. Jen is adding pics of CM Punk, AJ Burnett, and Martin uh, Marion Hosa. Uh, who else do you want to see uh, add to the glorious club? Hubbard on Sunday. Your mainstream media party co-host, Matt Carlins. This is, okay, so there is a, uh, Mayhemers here in the area yeah. <laughs> have been invited to uh, the mainstreams. They're not the Carlins, they're the mainstreams. <laughs> the mainstreams. They're the mainstreams. <laughs> the mainstreams. Um, in order to watch the Elimination Chamber, to celebrate this, the occasion of the last pay-per-view we will watch in such a manner of an overpriced yep. nature. <laughs> Hopefully. 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 Um, it's still an end of an era. Uh, and they are going all out. They're, they're, they're making a pinata. I think I saw a picture of one, but apparently they're making it. Um, there is a, there's a Roman Reigns stand up. This is going to mm -hmm. be epic. I think we're all going to play with their kids' toys. Um, you should like, bring your own Sorg. I, guys, don't. We should play pin the bulletproof vest on Roman Reigns. You know, and I'm not. <laughs> Oh, no, pin the baby girl on Roman Reigns. Oh, jeez. I'm not afraid to bring my own toys, guys. <laughs> nice. So, Stockpile WWE things. That's right. That's right. All uh, uh, Hasbro generation for the most part, too. <laughs> A couple random TNAs and new WWEs. Uh, there, Lita. There's one person on that pinata that needs to go on that pinata, and you know, you all know who I'm talking about. Hmm. Randy Orton. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, for the, the Bobby. They, the hey, Undisputed we'll... World Heavyweight Champion. Mm -hmm. And my object of hate for how long now? Uh, well, long time. Orton debuted in 2004. So. <laughs> yeah. I didn't hate him the entire time. <laughs> oh, we, no, 2002. Can we yeah. just put the TNA logo on there? Yeah. That's a good don't, don't put all the TNA people. Don't lump them all in together. Okay, uh, Willow. We can put Willow on there. Oh, Matt Hardy. Yes. Oh, can we put all the Hardys? I would like to a make a nomination for um, LB, who is not here tonight. Uh, Sean Stasiak. Oh, there yeah. you go. There you go. Uh, Stasiak or Meat Era? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So two yeah. Stasiaks. All right. All right. Um, um, yeah, I can see that. How about some Mike Adamley? I don't know why I'm on this Mike Adamley kick lately. John Laronitis and... Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey. <laughs> No hate on Big Johnny. Yeah. He can wear an all-red suit like no one's business. Also, um, uh, Hugh Morris, a.k.a. Really? Bill DeMott. Why do you what, hate what, Hugh Morris? Why do you hate Bill DeMott? 
because he's a terrible trainer and just out of touch. Oh, 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 I got you. I got you. Like half of the total divas. Oh, yeah. Virgil. 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 Virgil needs to be the biggest picture on there. <laughs> Virgil needs to be the – Virgil forms the head. Oh, Virgil geez. forms the head. There you go. I think we got a lot of great ideas. I uh, think we have a show title too. Virgil yeah. forms the head. <laughs> Somebody put that in the dock, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and uh, breaking news, I give you uh, from Rick in the uh, uh, Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show, Ezekiel Jackson riding a cat. Yay! Uh, I, th- That's where he's uh, been this entire time. Um, does that mean that cat is co-ECW champion? <laughs> I guess he is. <laughs> I guess he is. I'm saving that for the, the album art, potentially. <laughs> That's amazing. Um so there's that. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I think we're going to have a lot of fun uh, at this party. Uh, and and uh, look, follow us respectively on our Twitters because that's probably going to be a fun night to follow uh, the crew here. Uh, so Will says Toby you, Keith. Um, can someone please find uh, someone hitting uh, Randy Orton with the pina- on the pinata? My God, dude! You know I'm going to film this thing and I'm going to iMovie trailer this thing to you. Okay, oh. this is what's going to happen. There was Sword, a man. Can you, can you start it off with the trailer guy? In a world where we have six superstars in a chamber, <laughs> only one will survive: the pinata of hate. Pinata of hate. Rumors <laughs> that it's filled with bacon jerky. <laughs> mm. Rumors that still the bacon jerky and the dreams of everyone who wants to see Daniel Bryan win the Rumble. <laughs> and I also everybody. give you, I also give you Roman Reigns stand up. Oh, there it is. Just because there it is. that's the thing. Of course. Um, um, hey baby. Yeah. Or, or hey, no, well, hey baby girl. Wrong, baby girl. Hey baby, hey, baby girl. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Roman Reigns. Where do I go from there? Oh, yes, <laughs> I know. There is a return to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited. There's once a C-Miller that we played music to. He had a little bit of a fun accent with. Oh, well, he had a bit of fun with. Uh, but he is back. And I'll let Mad Mike tell you about him in his right. own words of the emailer. Hey, 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 hey. It's me, it's me, it's former fan of the year at Big PPC, and soon to be fan of the year again, possibly. I did that so it rhymed. Uh, I won't do it in the accent anymore, though, because I don't want to put LB to shame. Uh, (laughs) Happy to be a part of the Mayhem Nation once again. Yes, 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 D. Bryan just is over his last summer. Holy shit, the Shield versus the Wyatts doesn't get much better than this. Hope they don't blow it a chamber. CM Punk takes his ball and goes home. Good for him. Hope he and AJ enjoy their weekend together. Wait, wait, can I, can I, did anybody see the picture of AJ picking him up at the airport uh, or something? No, other happening? way around. CM Punk picking her up. Oh, okay. okay. That, that was it, curious. It's so. sad. It. Uh, it the TMZ nature of that is just sad. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's role play for a second. Hey, how was <laughs> wait, work? Wait, wait. who's going to be Punk and who's going to be AJ? I was going right, to um, let it kind of naturally happen. Hold on, Bobby. Sit this one out. What? I'm going to sit this one out. I was volunteering you for AJ. Come on, Mike, Mike. Yeah. You nope. Be or, you cool? Uh, sure. Okay. Mm, did, nope. did you listen to that uh, fan fiction? No, I didn't listen to that one. Is this one exactly. of them? Exactly. Oh, oh, that, that. No, yeah. no. Ah, uh, now I'm remembering <laughs> the Cesaro stuff. Uh, 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 I need an adult. I broke Zork. Uh, okay. I broke Zork. I'm moving on, please. They traumatized okay. me with that stuff. <laughs> Everybody deserves a little time off. Cena could learn from this. <laughs> Just take I'm a break. Sure. Go away for sure a while. That's not his choice. Stop hurting yourself. <laughs> Stop uh, hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting us. God. All right. So who else is getting the network? I'm sure. I sure am. Sounds like a plan for nine nine nine. While I wish there was more time in the day to watch the network, or we had this when I when I it was not working, parent. But oh well. 
I am pretty sure he means when he wasn't a working parent. Uh, TNA still doing what it's doing, bringing on MVP and bringing on MVP inserted and Hogan and Sting removed. That's a start. Yep. Mm -hmm. It may be too late to save TNA, but mm -hmm. maybe, just maybe, this new younger crop of talent there might just be a good start. Like Willow. See, everyone, everyone says that MVP is not young. He's younger. He's younger. He's younger. He's just a different but, face that hasn't been around since the 80s. He's fresher. He's, he's not fresh. somebody that I had a wrestling buddy of, okay? Yeah. I didn't. Hey, hey, Sorg. Sorg. Those things are coming back, all right? I know. I know. I broke Somebody play. call on mama. Somebody call your mama. <laughs> all right. Uh, back to the email. Chikara is back. Exciting times for them. Hope to see more in the future. I enjoyed National Pro Wrestling Day. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, neither are you going to say it? All right, fine. National Pro National Wrestling Day. National Pro Wrestling Day. There we go. <laughs> we forgot. We dropped the ball. I know. Sorry. ROH, not quite the same momentum they had last year, but still doing their thing and a must to watch when you can. Questions. Cesaro, Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville, Big E, who will be the next breakout to main event from NXT? I think Big E's disqualified there. Because well, he... Cesaro is too. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. oh okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very much. I mean, I think Cesaro is the next one mm -hmm. currently, right? Um, yeah. He better be. <laughs> I, uh, Sami Zayn, my God, Sami Zayn has to be. I, I, I don't think they would know what to do with anybody else there. I think they pull up Paige before Sami Zayn. They need to pull Paige up. I don't know. Well, no, if Naomi is really injured for that long, they need an opponent for AJ. True. That's true. That could be fun. Got Emma. Um, I feel like they're I feel like they have too many ladies they don't know what to do with, and that's why yeah. so many are floundering down there. Like unless Paige like comes up as I don't know. Sister Sister Abigail. Ooh, that would be fun. Or if she comes <laughs> up as like Undertaker's uh younger, hotter sister. <laughs> the, the overtaker. Just just call her Katie Vick. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. Soon. Hey, um, you know what? If Taker thought Kane died in the fire, Kane can think Katie died in the fire, and then she can <laughs> come back. You know, isn't it an interesting phenomenon? I feel like there's so much great women's wrestling happening on NXT, and like they're working so hard just to not wrestle when they get to the main roster. Mm -hmm. Like it's an interesting and, and like. Like the, the, I mean, isn't that so much for all these guys? Because they they work so hard trying to get so good at wrestling on the indies just to go to WWE and not. And well, I I think they all think that once they get to the main roster, they can try and change that. Yeah, yeah, they're like oh. because I mean, you do get an occasional really good women's match out of like the the last match Caitlyn had with AJ was really good. Mm -hmm. And AJ has had some good pay-per-view matches. So while they might not always get like the time on TV that they probably deserve, mm -hmm. they do get quality, you know, seven to eight minute pay-per-view matches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so back to email. What will oh, you wait. watch first? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get my answer to oh, the question. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry about, about that. it. I would say Rusev. Oh, yeah. Just because he has the look, you know. And he's already all over at promos. Mm -hmm. It kind of seems like that he was supposed to debut after WrestleMania. Maybe they just wanted somebody else in the Rumble yeah. as like a. It kind of seems like it because like the promos and stuff they're doing for him. It seems like a very post WrestleMania debut package that mm -hmm. they're doing. Maybe, for him. maybe he'll come in at WrestleMania and just destroy things. <laughs> <laughs> Rusev smashed. Yeah, Rusev and Rusev crushed. crushed. <laughs> Poor Zack Ryder. <laughs> um, okay, so back to email. PPC writes, uh, what will you first watch on the network? Hmm. We've kind of had this question before, but I, I don't think you guys have been around when we've answered this. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I've already said I'm going to go back and watch some old ECW because I really hadn't had the mm -hmm. opportunity. Uh, what, what, what about you, Mike? I'm going to watch um, the last Nitro. I'm going to watch the last Nitro and the last Raw, 
and then after that, any pay per view I was at live. Are you getting Raw's? Are you getting Raw's stuff like that? I think so. I didn't think so. Like not yet. Is it just the pay per views? I then? think it's just the pay. We've had this conversation. I think we we might have had this in Hangout about exactly how much and what is coming up. You're going to get all the pay per views, and I think there's going to be like a bunch of other select programming, kind of like because. Uh, well, but also you're seeing it now in the commercial, you're going to get the DVDs. Mm-hmm. So commercials, or I'm sorry, pay per views, DVDs, all the all the new content. You're going to get Raw and SmackDowns after they air. But I, well, I thought they said a lot of the old Raws and Smackdowns are going to be available. Did, did, did Maybe they? just not right away. That's what, that's what I assume. I think, I yeah. think they're coming. I think eventually I, they will. Well, I think like the Monday Night War program. Yes. Like that's not going to be on demand. That's going to be available after it airs first run. Yeah. But I think yeah. if you just wanted to go back and look up like a Raw in the Mid-Hudson Civic Center, like I probably would, then it's going to be available. Well, that would be great. I, I hope it does get to that point where, like, can I watch every Raw that happened in Pittsburgh? Yeah. Can I watch every Chicago Raw? Every, you know, you know, something like that. Like, I, I it'd be great. I, I don't think they would do this, and I don't think they would have much reason to do this. But it'd be great if you can do. You could search events by location or something like that. You know. Um, I think they do have a search. Scene. They do have a search bar. Well, they would do, but what? What's that criteria? Are they searching program I, names? I'd imagine if you typed in Pittsburgh. That's so, true. That's true. Sword, but what, sword, what, what it also it also it also depends because it could be just that search bar is titles and maybe because just because you have a search bar doesn't know doesn't mean it's searching all that information. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little sword. technical, heady kind of here. So it, it's sword. whatever they decide the search to be. Sorg, you're talking to the guy who literally databased the entire library. <laughs> it's true. Just because they have, <laughs> but no, just because I'm, they have the information doesn't mean they're using it, though. Okay, that's fair. But that's, that's what I'm they saying. They definitely do. They definitely oh, do yeah. have it sorted. Oh, they can't, by... dude. If this guy, if this guy that does the wrestling database that we've talked about on the show can go do this, yeah, I'm sure they have this already in mm-hmm. the coolest spreadsheet you'll ever find at WWE yep. headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Anyways, I think we have an email to finish. Oh, I, okay. I didn't answer it. Oh, we still didn't answer I was going to watch it. <laughs> again. Again, guys, forget about me. No, um, I'm going to watch Welcome two Royal Rumbles. <laughs> two Royal Rumbles, 1992 and 1999. The okay. entire paper. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to watch. Fair warning, the rest of the 92 Rumble kind of sucked. Yeah, I just want to see the Rumble for that. Fair the enough. 99 pay-per-view with the, the Mankind and Rock match. Mm-hmm. I want to watch that again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So back to the email. Um, BBC says Legends House or some WCW pay per views for me. Till then, take care, Mayhem Crew and Mayhem Nation. It's me. It's me. It's at Big PPC sent from my iPhone. Fantastic. Good stuff. Thank you, everybody, for your emails this week. Uh, really good collection. Hey, you filled the first half of the show here. Good job. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love when you guys are giving your questions like this. And remember, you can also do it. Uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, hop over to uh, the Facebook group. There are so many people. There's like 10 people, 13 people mm-hmm. joining every Look week at, at this point. Um, and it's great to see the numbers growing, seeing people, a lot of new conversations, a lot of new faces. Uh, What's in going on on that Facebook group? What's that? What's going on on that Facebook group this week? Are you giving me a tease lead in? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Bobby! Um, well, I'm uh, doing good things. The pinata, for instance. A lot of that conversation started there. A lot of questions uh, about Raw. Uh, people's thoughts on it. This, uh, in, this whole debate about um, John Cena and whether he's actually a good wrestler or we give him way too much credit. Because oh, of the people God. he wrestles, and I, you know, it sounds like somebody's simmering over there. Uh, Maybe we'll get into that in the second half. We'll see about that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, of course, please go over to the Patreon, go over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com, check out all the ways there, all the banners and everything. Uh, click on things, buy things, get T-shirts, uh, uh, donate to the show. Uh, ha- however, you want to contribute, or even just contribute your emails at that point, or tell a friend. Any way to get the mayhem out here. I mean, look, we've been around eight years. We're going to the Indie Mayhem show. We're doing all kinds of fun stuff to keep the conversation going and keep you guys part of it. Um, 
Uh, but we'll come right back with Remember When. Uh, in the meantime, check out this promo. Uh, music for you guys on audio from Basic Synchronous. Something you, you haven't heard on here yet, I believe. Um, and also a preview of uh, RWA's uh, Steel City Prodigy, Best of Ryan Mitchell, a friend of the show here. Uh, we pulled a best of together. Uh, first one we've done with interviews at Sorgatron Media. Uh, so we actually got to pick all the matches. We actually interviewed him for insights about those matches uh, with other friends of the show, like Gory, like Shane Taylor, um, um, you know, like Ryan Edmonds, a couple steel cage matches. It's, it's a real fun DVD to watch. Uh, so go check that out over at SorgatronMedia.com. Here's the trailer, and we'll be right back with Remember What. <laughs> Baby girl, it's time for the Wrestling doing? Mayhem show. Remember when? What are you doing? What are you doing? Remember when? This week on Remember I When? Remember when? <laughs> LB's not here now. It's, it's all going off the rails, but quietly, apparently. We had to fill in. Of course, uh, joining us on the lines, we got, of course, the Riz. Uh, we're also joined by Wheels and the main, the, one of the mainstreams, as we established last second. <laughs> Matt Carlin's has joined us as well. <laughs> Hi, we're the mainstreams. <laughs> It sounds really dirty coming out of my mouth. Oh, <laughs> Did you rather be the mainstream or the side stream, though? They're not the dribbles. They're the mainstream. Don't trust the mainstream. Oh, oh, God, no, Sorg, no. Oh, On that note, Sorg, um, no. so, so, of course, we talked about, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a, a great pay-per-view party from the sounds of things here uh, this Sunday for Elimination Chamber. And realizing... This may be the last time we go all out for a pay-per-view party in the form it is now with the WWE Network, uh, you know, starting with WrestleMania and everything. So, and I think, Mike, you actually came up with this idea. No, uh, Matt did. Matt Mr. maybe Mr. Made, came up. Mr. Somebody Mason. came up with this idea. <laughs> uh, about epic pay-per-view right. parties. So this is more of a self-experience, less than a wrestling kind of discussion i think um so let's get a little introspective and uh, who wants to tell us about their uh epic pay-per-view party of uh of, of all-time memory well sorg i don't know if um any of you guys are old enough to remember but wrestling uh watching wrestling used to be a social experience that you did with other people and um no i remember going to a great pay-per-view party for wrestlemania 2000 that they delivered with the entire day of WrestleMania highlights on pay-per-view. Yep, all day WrestleMania. So I really only got there about halfway through it, but all I remember is just like the mass of humanity at my friend's house. It was like two rooms full of people. There was like 30 or 40 people at this house. And that's just like, it, that's a perfect, just like, snapshot of what it was like watching wrestling in that era just everybody watched it that was just there was no questions about it no one did it alone or was embarrassed about it everyone was like wrestlemania sure everybody come on over you know i don't know what happened to all those guys but um yeah that's that's what it was all about for me back in those days you know and, and I'll, I'll second that because that's actually what i was going to mention the all day long i had a few friends come over from from school um, and, and I watched all day long. I still have the VHS of all day long that we recorded, um, which if you don't know, uh, most of those segments, of course, there was a lot of like fan access kind of stuff too, where they were like sitting on a podium talking about, you know, what was coming up at WrestleMania. But most of the actual kind of flashback segments, if you have the, um, history of WrestleMania coffee table book that comes with a DVD, it's yep. most of those segments are included on the DVD. Um, mm -hmm. So that was that was kind of cool. If you want to, you know, find that kind of stuff. I wonder if that'll be on the network. Yeah, yeah it could be on the network stuff. too. I mean, stuff's been kind of done and redone over and over again. 
um, as far as like all those all that flashback back material. Uh, plus, it's not an HD probably, so that's a thing. Um, so. so you do get to hear that sweet Coliseum video music. Oh yeah. <laughs> Coliseum videos presents. WrestleMania. Those were the days. Coliseum Video presents days. UK Rampage '93. Well, other than that, so I have my <laughs> own, so I'm not completely picking back, uh, piggybacking off of Matt here. Um, one of my friends still went to. I, I think I, I probably still. No, I don't. I don't think I still went there because I'm. So after we started the Mayhem show, um, I don't know whose apartment it was. <laughs> it <laughs> might have been Chad the Shads amongst. Amongst others, but I remember Steam Machine being there. I think LB was, and it was the WrestleMania. I remember distinctly. It was the WrestleMania where Mickey James took on Trish Stratus. <laughs> here's a room full of college guys, and then you know the Mickey James V signal lick thing happened, and everybody just came completely unglued. And it's back when we were more violent <laughs> as a as a group as well. Um, so, so that was, I remember that being probably one of maybe the, uh, most epic party is really connected to a paper <coughs> I was part of. Who's next? So not many matches have been won with Mime Cunnilingus. Not many. That's true. That's true. That maybe, is true. maybe one or two. Yeah. And they're all probably in glow or wrestlelicious. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? Um, well, I, I'll go next. All right, go for it, Riz. Uh, one of the ones that I, now, now let, let's be fair, gambling is illegal. Please do not do it illegally. Just pointing that out there. From your friends at the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, but there was a point in my, like, I went to a friend's house for WrestleMania 21, I believe. And what we, there was eight of us there. Six of us there. Six of us. I remember perfectly now. Um, and all we did was we just put a dollar in, in a big pot. And the winner of the elimina oh, not Elimination Chamber, the Money in the Bank ladder match, the first one they had, uh, would get the pot. And it was one of the first times I was excited to cheer for Christian. <laughs> one of the only <laughs> times the only time. <laughs> I was excited to cheer for Christian. And, of course, he lost, and I was down a dollar. That's my, that's my lunch money. Um, but just being there with... It was actually my first party to, of wrestling related to go to. And since then, I really like going to parties. You like going to parties? I like going to parties. I like parties. I like parties. I like parties. Mike, I, I like, like parties. parties. Mike, what kind of parties do you like? I like my. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna paint a little word picture for you, Sorg. Oh, um, I like word pictures. All right. Uh, the the date is April fourth, nineteen ninety three. Hmm. I was a fresh face in wrestling, just getting into it, and um, I was just getting my friends into it back in, I think we were in the fifth grade, and it was, Wrestlemania was four days before my birthday, so I decided I didn't want to have McDonald's, I didn't want to have bowling, I wanted to have a wrestling birthday party. <laughs> so, I made a trivia game about all of the years Events that happened from WrestleMania 8 to WrestleMania 9. Uh, we went, we ordered from Little Caesars, and we had the huge, giant 40 slice pizzas. Mm -hmm. There were like giant rectangles. We ordered about five of them. Wow. And, and my mother made Hulk Hogan lollipops. The crap. Like <laughs> Hulk Hogan chocolate lollipops. She found oh. a mold of Hulk Hogan, like, doing the, the brother pose. And she took red and yellow chocolate, and she made different versions of Hulk Hogan. And, yes, she painted the mustache on every single one of them. Nice. And we watched WrestleMania 9. 
and it was awesome because we got to see the Macho Toga. We got to see Heenan come in backwards on a camel. We got to see JR in a toga. And we all kind of got mad at my mom. Well, not, not got mad, but we, we predicted, we said that she was like a prophet because she made the Hulk Hogan lollipops. And of course, WrestleMania 9, that's the one where Hogan came in at the end and won the WWE title. So that was my first wrestling party that I threw. It's the one that instantly came to mind, and it was fantastic. Epic. Epic. So, Mike, I have a question for you with the lollipops. Did you guys yes. bite the heads off them first? I did, yes, because I was not a Hogan fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. What about you, oh, Will? brother. <laughs> uh, wrestling parties. Honestly, the... Latest ones I've gone to are like up here at Cal U, and you find a lot of wrestling fans because of that. And I think it was two years ago from WrestleMania, and we all sat at one table betting on the Rock Cena. Well, not even betting, just making a friendly wager of who was for the Rock, who, who was for Cena. And it was just so much fun because. Of course, I was pro rock of anything. So we sat there and made a side bet with the one girl who wanted Cena to win. And we're like, if you lose, you have to go sit out next to the poster and take a picture of you kissing the rock. And, of course, we won. So we got to take that picture. And that's wrestling fun for me for paid for views. Awesome. What about you, Bobby? Did someone say, damn, that's a fine rock. <laughs> <laughs> that's another show. That was the that other was show. That was Boss yeah. Battle, number 80. <laughs> if you want to check that out, it's recording to begin dot com. Um, <laughs> what about yeah, you, Bobby? I, I, I have one. Yeah. Uh, a couple, actually. When when we we all meet at Buffalo Wild Wings. Those are always good. Um, My favorite one was yeah. when for Money in the Bank two years ago. Yeah, I uh, remember that, just Bobby. Just that crowd when when... CM Punk won over Cena and took the belt and ran was just amazing. I, I remember so, that for so a much fun, reason, Bobby. Huh? I remember that for a different reason. Oh no, that was that was in the summertime. That was that was Royal Rumble you're was, thinking of. Oh yeah, that's Royal Rumble. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah it was no, fun. Was and then, cool. and there was another one I remember uh, WrestleMania going with AJ. Uh, AJ and, and Abby came to Johnstown. Uh, for a hockey game, it was actually one of the last Chief games, and then we all we all went to um, Buffalo Wild Wings for the pay per view, and we had to stand for most of the night because it was packed, and then finally somebody like left at the bar, so we like just wheedled our way in and got the seats and and, and just had a blast. So it was fun. <laughs> awesome. Um, and I think that's everybody. If I didn't miss anyone, um, and of course, if you uh, have any pay per view, oh, parties... sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, my my wife wants me to mention that when we watched WrestleMania 28 together, that was like the first pay-per-view that I had purchased in years and years and years and years and years. It was the end of a very long hiatus. And when The Rock beat John Cena, she leaped into my arms like the end of Dirty Dancing. And we like <laughs> spun around in circles because we're so happy The Rock had won. <laughs> A special moment. I think I said. I think I said. Skittly do. Skittly do. Skittly do. Don't judge me. I said skittly do. Wow. Awesome. And if you have any pay per view memories you want to share, uh, hit us up. Uh, comments on the Remember When video, or hit us up on Twitter. Uh, all the social media stuff, and uh, and let us know. Let us know what you what, you know some of your memories. So let's take a look at it. if you if you guys want to support the show, we've been uh, you know, talk about that a lot. But one way you can do that, I want to take a look at is prowrestlingtees dot com uh, slash wms. We got a few shirts up there. Uh, stuff designed by the great Alex Carlin, including the good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. There it is. Don't remember, please give that call to 412-206-WMS0 and give us your best good times, and maybe we'll do something fun with that here on the show. Um, but yeah, uh, the good times property of, uh, of Mayhem, uh, you can go check those out. A, a few of us have actually picked up a few of these shirts to make sure we're wearing mm -hmm. and representing the show. A few yes, of them. They're really good quality shirts. I'm, I'm really happy with them. They've been holding I'm up really be well. I'm them when I go to Raw. In, uh, they're very comfortable. comfortable. Oh, they are. Super comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I know we were using Spreadshirt before, and I think they're they're way better quality in print on the shirt. 
Um, way better than Cafe Press when we used to use them as well. <laughs> Cafe so. Press. Uh, and of course, while you're there, go check out, you know, support indie wrestling, support friends of the show. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them at ProWrestlingTees.com. You can go get them and bundle them in with your shirts, uh, uh, you know, for, for Wrestling Mayhem show, including, you know, friends of the show like Johnny Gargano. I know he's been showing this one off on his I love that one. Facebook I want it. page. Yeah, the Johnny Gar- Gargano Morphin Time, Mighty Morphin. That, that is, is a good one. Tremendous. Kind of want to get that one. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, also, Matt Cross, another friend of the show. We interviewed him back in the day at Chikara. Uh, so another good one for you to check out. Uh, support him. Of course, Tough Nuffs, Matt Cross. And, of course, another friend of the show, uh, Zima Ion. Um, <laughs> I think I went to the wrong page here. Uh, but he's on here as well. Uh, as we like to call him, Baby Batista. So go check that out. Wrestling May- I'm sorry, no, Pro Wrestling Tees.com slash WMS. And there's a link over at Wrestling Mayhem Show.com. So please enjoy that. So we're leading up, of course, to um, Elimination Chamber. Mm-hmm. We did a, a little bit of a rundown uh, on the uh, Raw wrap up last night, uh, uh, talk about the matches and stuff. Uh, this is the more interesting you know aside from like thinking all the logical ways oh what's the better main event what do they want so it's a money maker you f- i feel like there's kind of could be an upset at going into this elimination chamber like more than normal like if nothing else cesaro is going to have a have a roman reigns at the rumble type experience i think mm-hmm. i i think sorg i hate to disagree <sighs> Hate to and I hate for you to disagree with me. <laughs> Trust me, I want that to happen. I think he's been having almost too good of a week. <laughs> yeah. Almost too good because, like, I could see him coming in fourth in the chamber. Like, he comes in, just wrecks everyone, and then he's the first guy eliminated. Yeah. Okay. Like he's the guy, or like Pikuro, like he's the guy. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, I, I said what uh, I was going to say. I was going to say he's the guy who I think is going to be the guy who they who everybody just starts to cover. Mm-hmm. Like how they have that big guy moment where everybody just go. dog piles on the guy. I just have that feeling that Cesaro is going to be there, There's pinata action in there. Pinata! Oh no. Pinata! She just wanted to let you know she's going upstairs pinata. to put another layer on the pinata. Hot pinata action. Stick. I'm sorry. We're, 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 we're disruptive to your show, so we're going to apologize. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, before you we're, prepare for we're bringing too much mayhem to the mayhem. <laughs> There's no uh, such thing. But yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't think he's gonna win. I, I can't see the world WWE World Champion that's brand new in Cesaro going to NXT and taking on Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. Or could although I mean, if that would you be want good. to push NXT, that's a way to do it. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. And yep. pushing like, this you could hot shot on Cesaro. Yeah, for a week, and then just I, do the return match. Yeah. Right. Right. That would because there's a lot of time between uh, the Raw after Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of time. There is all of March. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, not even counting the, you know the, the fact that we've said you know for the last few weeks, pretty much guaranteeing a shot at the main event in WrestleMania with uh with you know this title win. You know. Um, I don't know. To be fair, I, I'd be much more excited about Cesaro versus Batista. Yeah, I would I, too. I would be so excited for that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think we're going to get Batista, like, maybe running up to the show? Do you Are we going to get Batista, like, actually wrestling on Raw? Because it hasn't happened yet. No. No? Not at all? <laughs> uh, I think so. You think He's so? done on house shows. Okay. I think so. Oh, okay. I think you have to. Yeah. At least once or twice, maybe a few tag matches. It's so weird. He didn't do anything last night, did he? Other than that one spot. Yeah. He, he bullied um, Alberto Del Rio. Okay, he bullied Alberto Del Rio. Be a star. Be a star, Be a star Batista. Be a star, Drax. 
<laughs> but um, I, well, I mean the the raw that is in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. um, Batista is advertised for a post show dark match. The I believe the post show dark match is being advertised is Cena, Batista, and Daniel Bryan. Okay. Versus Randy Orton, Del Rio, and uh, Bray Wyatt. Okay. Ooh, so nice. I mean, he's being advertised for matches for for a dark show, and I believe he does do some house shows. So he, I think he's got to wrestle. Mm -hmm. I think he's got to at least once. I was gonna say he doesn't want to play a rock type thing. No. I'll, I'll, well, he's already been on more than the. Does rock. he does he's he play a Brock Lesnar type thing? Mm -hmm. I'm shocked that Brock doesn't have a match. No, but Brock Brock is more of an attraction. Yeah. Brock is more of an attraction than Batista is because the way Brock has been wrestling since he came back, you can't have him have a match on Raw. That's true. That's true. Because you can't just throw him in against a guy like Kofi Kingston. Mm -hmm. He'd get destroyed. Because, mm -hmm. like, the way Brock's been going, you can't give him someone against someone who's going to give him offense. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, audio problems. Um, okay, uh, so so uh, of course we're also I, I think they've been doing a really good job uh, looking at Shield versus Wyatt's here uh, the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Finally gave it to us. We got a big brawl at the end there. They've been teasing it, and the crowd has been going insane. This is almost another Daniel Bryan kind of situation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are we? Is this is this just because it's something that's so different than what we're used to? Yet another uh, Orton versus Cena. Yet another uh, Sheamus versus Orton. You know, we, it's 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 different people doing something different. It's, like it's also two Daffy heel Orton. groups. It is. Yeah, it's two heel groups, but they're definitely over. I mean, some yeah. people, I'm not saying they're not over. I mean, but it's some two people heel have a life sized. Uh, uh, a cardboard cutout of one of those heel groups, you know? I mean, I don't know what kind of person would do that. Uh, but... I don't know either. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> it's my wingman, HBK. <laughs> oh my god, it's a new Sean likes to call himself HB you Shizzle. Know, if, if, you know what? If you're going to be in a team, you know, all I have to do is just show up. Stay in the corner. Let these two take care of my best. <laughs> the two dudes with attitude right there. Your bodyguards. And just walk into a bar with them. You know, this is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not the first time a Shawn Michaels stand-up has showed up on the show. Oh, wait, no, he didn't have him that time. Yeah. Every, he have, no, he had a. He had a. You're talking about Gargano, right? Yeah, Gargano, because he had him Gargano on his show. A, a, I thought he just had a picture. It might have been a picture or something. It was hanging up. Yeah. Because it wasn't a standy. It was just like a. The drawing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. So that is the. First I love that he's adjusting that shot have. there. <laughs> like that's just the, that's nothing Michael's but the producer and me trying to get out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else we got going on? Uh, uh, WWE right now. Of course, the networks next week. Do we really have anything to say about what we expect from this? Other than, holy crap, we're all signing up, right? <laughs> yeah, I will sign I, up. I okay. actually plan on signing up for it. Yeah. I will sign up, but I want Michael Cole to show me how to, to work the network. You weren't happy Bobby with the Bellas? <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't have that promo last night. That's true. That's true. I, I can't figure it out on my own. <laughs> Bobby, Michael make Cole's sure out. your devices are plugged in. On Monday, start. Maggle, we install the WWE network. <laughs> 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 no, dude, they're going to tell you how to do it like three times during that show. So 9 a.m. we got to sign up. So I'm going to I'm going to set my alarm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. 9 a.m. Monday. Remind me to sign up for WWE Network. You can start watching content soon thereafter. No, no, it doesn't start until after. No, you can watch. They said you can watch stuff all day. Really? Uh, it says sign yes. up for the WB okay. network. I'm almost there, so <laughs> WB close network. enough. I think I'll figure it out. That's past. Sign Sorg. up for we. The CW. Sign up for we, Sorg. <laughs> sure. No WB. WB. The WB yeah, network the is CW apparently network. making a comeback. Oh. Um, so that was kind of weird. Animaniacs um, is going to be awesome on that. <laughs> they just want you to watch Arrow. That's CW again. 
Yes. You have to go back to Smallville. PN man, oh. Voyager. Uh, anyways, the Wayans uh, brothers. So so. <laughs> <laughs> WB. Oh God, that just I made sword, sword with the Wayans brothers. How is that possible? It's the Wayans brothers. Okay, followed by the Parkers. Oh, oh wow! Wow! wow. Has it, what has this show become? Don't make me start asking you guys about TNA. No, I'll talk about TNA Sorg because I really like oh, TNA this week. It was okay. It was, it, was, okay. it was actually it fun. Wanted. It was okay. And was. yes, part of the fun was how ridiculous that casket was. Oh yes. my god. Oh, oh like, don't get me started on that fucking and... casket. <laughs> I know. I heard you guys <laughs> on the Let's after show this week. On who this mysterious creature is in the forest. Oh, it just no. has an umbrella and starts spinning it for some reason. Yo, know, uh, we, we talked looks earlier. Like... We talked earlier about, uh, and I think we we did play like, mention to this about how they kind of let them do their own creative thing, the wrestlers in in, in uh, uh, on that show. Um, and sometimes you get Willow, and sometimes you get Abyss. <laughs> so Spark. Now, now the weird thing about that whole Willow thing is the fact that okay, I think it's a good idea until. You sit there and put on your Facebook that you signed Jeff Hardy back. Yep. Yeah. And yep. then you show a video like this going, and you're like, wait a minute, you already signed Hardy back, so yeah, just let's smack your own storylines. I feel yep. like, oh, yeah, I feel like TNA has never been good about keeping the line. Between. They always cross it, Sork. Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah. It's funny because yeah. gimmicks. <laughs> I uh, I can't even follow that up. Uh, no, but it. Nope. Oh, uh, blah. I, well, no, I, they I, even I, say cross the line. Like, Dixie even said this week on Impact. I'm not even joking. In a meeting with MVP. She said, oh, you're going around crossing all these lines, darling. I'm like, Dixie, that was your fucking motto for five years. It was well, literally the motto of TNA. Well, Cross Spud the line. Did, Spud did draw a line down the middle of the actual This is true. Staying this at. is true. And we did get to see MVP wrestle. Uh, he still looked good as much as he can against Rockstar Spud in a squashy he kind really of way. Had, he really likes that unitard, I guess. Yeah, he likes the Power Ranger outfit. Sure. I, I <laughs> would have thought he changed something about his gimmick, but nope. <laughs> nope. Those games have a I'm tattoo that waiting. he can show. I'm, I'm waiting until we actually time travel and get MVP versus Mr. Anderson. I'm waiting until we actually time travel back to 2008 SmackDown <laughs> with Taz on commentary and MVP versus Mr. Anderson. And it's going to be your main moment. event of Bound for Glory. I know doesn't, it's going to happen. does he have a tattoo that he has to cover? Yeah, I don't and think it's like the really reason for the full... bad. It's it's a Malcolm X uh, tattoo yeah. that I'm aware of. So... Right, there are other ways to cover up a damn tattoo, though. And it's not like he hasn't wrestled without the shirt on showing the tattoo. They, they did that stint with... Uh, that one group that did the 13 episode promo thing that where yeah. they were all charactered out. Um, so I don't know, but this is what people know. I, you know, I think he's more uh, doing it this way because this is what people know him as is the power ranger suit guy, you know? Um, I don't know. I think he's a good addition. He's not a guy that drags up down like Willow and Jeff Hardy. Yep. <laughs> Um, uh, no. I'm like, the, here's the deal with here's the deal with Willow. Besides the fact that when I first saw that promo, I was thinking to myself, that looks a lot like Jeff Hardy. I wonder if he's gonna feud with Jeff Hardy. And then found out later that it was fucking Jeff Hardy. Um, <laughs> this is the reason it makes no sense. Jeff Hardy is like one of like your two or three guys in TNA who can actually make a difference. It can actually make people like buy pay-per-views, and they're going to uh, saddle up. Ah, I can't. Let's be Mike, honest. help me out here. There aren't two or three guys that TNA can do that with now. There's one guy, 
I hate Best. to say it, and that is Jeff Hardy. That is one guy that's actually going to draw a rating. It's going to draw buy rates. It's going to draw people to watch him wrestle. Because TNA has ruined Kurt Angle at this point. Can I ask another thing? Could we, could we do? A, I, I know this is an offshoot of what we're talking about, but I feel like this is a topic that's been done to death even over the last week. Um, so we got WWE Network. Mm -hmm. We got, obviously, TNA has already kind of shifted their pay-per-view thing. Me, I feel like this is a, a delivering on your contracts, just like WWE just had to do up this month. I think they're only mm -hmm. going to have one pay-per-view as your Sork. Really? Lockdown and that's it? No. Oh, wait, is Lockdown on pay-per-view? I thought so. Yeah, yeah, they're advertising it on the... Uh, okay, all right, then two pay per views. Lockdown, yeah. Bound for Glory. And they did that last year, too. And we're doing the one-night stands through the rest of the months, right? I'm, you know, filling obligations or whatever you want to call it. Um, mm -hmm. So I feel like something is going to be different. What does TNA do? Do they do... Please hey, sign we up got with TNA the network. network. I mean, they, they jerk off somewhere. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I mean, we already have... Uh, do they still have the TNA on demand? Right? I have no clue. Nobody I knows. Know. No one knows. TNA. Hold no on. one cares. I, I assume they do because they, when CM Punk walked out, they put together a list of CM Punk matches. That's right. So I've, I assume they've got to have some form of on demand thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate to say this, and maybe it's just because TNA just like drove me nuts lately and it's just like okay you got rid of aj you bring in mvp you bring in jeff hardy back is anybody excited for jeff jarrett's new company um silent silent rage <laughs> <laughs> no no wheels no no no, no. <laughs> i would be more excited if jeff jarrett came back to tna mm -hmm. here here's what i where, where i draw the line if Jeff Jarrett runs it like he did TNA, where he wins the title every single month, then, yeah, I have a problem with it. But if he stays behind, behind the scenes, behind everything, it could work. Uh, from what I saw from that bit... Oh, sorry, Chris, go ahead. I was going to say, but Toby Keith, on the other, other hand, who's the co-owner-ish of the company is probably not going to enjoy being work working with uh, Jeff Jarrett because he's a dick. Um, to answer a question from before, uh, TNA On Demand is fairly non-existent right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have... They have a very Inception photo on the front of their website with no videos. And to say uh, to our loyal TNA On Demand subscribers, all three of you, uh, in the coming weeks and months, we will be making several changes and additions to our video distribution services. Uh, so they're down. They are they're joining the network. Sorry. And it's a really bad site <laughs> to begin with. Um, wow. They, 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 like, Ring of Honor still has video on demand, right? So... What? Yeah. To be fair, Ring of Honor only has video on demand. That's that's pretty much it, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, because every time that's I say show, everything, every time I ask about a match, like from people I know in Ring of Honor, they say, "Well, yeah, they're going to film that and they're going to put it on their, on demand for the ringside members and stuff." I'm like, okay, all right, I'll buy that, you know. Um, and apparently, other people are too, and it, that makes sense, though, in the long Like we see, we talk about the Andy Mayhem show. Uh, uh, all these, you know, indies that are doing on demands, like the wrestling is, like the WSU, CZWs, um, and all those, all those guys. Um, that's where it's at, you know. And everybody's trying to make it in their own way. And DNA can't, apparently. Uh, so mm. I don't know. Like I almost like they should just get a distribution rights with WWE <laughs> and get on the network. It'll be the best exposure they could get right now. I um, think it will be brilliant. Wouldn't it? Would it be? Yes. What if? Okay. What if we 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 posed the question a, a few weeks ago, or maybe I did this in the hangout. Um, I I posed this question. Which wait, wait which what question are we talking about? Because I'm talking TNA, about the one. TNA, what's that? TNA joined the network. 
No, no, that's not the one. That's not the oh, one. Okay. Uh, I, I think we talked to, and I, I might not get the concept in, entirely right that we were talking about, but what if you have your NXTs and then we have, you know, obviously we got we gave props to Ring of Honor recently on WWE.com. Um, and I think I was proposing, what if there's a farm system that starts developing that there's a lot of smaller NXT size promotions around the country? So what if we do get, we're going to create our own competition, as in we're going to actually support, support our own competition, and we let Chikara run on here. We let TNA have a spot on here. And so we are the place you come for wrestling, period. That they become not only the 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 producers, but then they also become the distributors. The dis mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the distributors. Like, I mean, it's going to kill the hell out of guys like you know maybe me or Smart Mark when they do this with the Chikaras and the Ring of Honors and whoever else is out there that's big enough, like the CZWs, maybe or something like that. <laughs> um, but what if they do that? And what I mean, what if they they say you know let's snag this or even. You know, not even, you know, snagging those guys, you know, again, go back to the idea of the NXT thing. Well, let's get away from that. Let's go from this whole idea of maybe we just let everybody have a spot, you know. Um, I mean, I think some people have to get outside their own egos as far as some of that stuff, especially on the indie wrestling scene. But what do you guys think of that idea? You know, is it is it that far-fetched? They know we're seeing the development they're doing with this training center in NXT it, you know why not mm -hmm. i'm just picturing czw on the wwe network <laughs> like, right now. like ah CZ stay tuned for cage of death CZ at 9 p.m CZ tonight CZ <laughs> i tell you what i'd love to see them get a local dis uh, an american distribution for i'd like to see them put new on the wwe network don't even have to dub it over into English commentary or anything like that. Just give me that that nice, you know, completely incoherent Japanese commentary to go with some New Japan. That'd be great. That'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do international stuff. What if the WWE Network starts like strikes a deal with AAA to carry it, or yeah. strikes a deal with New Japan, or strikes a deal with I don't know what else is out there, guys. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean. <Ranky> King. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Rinka King. R Rinka King. There's actually a so really good. good discussion about Rinka King on the Sanjay Dett interview mm -hmm. with On Art of Wrestling with uh, Cole Cabana. So, um, that's the other thing is like this whole idea, like WWE starting a podcast. Supposedly, Cole Cabana might have been t in talks with WWE about something such as ring announcing. What, like, WWE is looking for new concepts. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of concepts in wrestling out there. Cole Cabana is involved in like three of them. Um, you know, there's five dollar wrestling on the WWE yeah, Network. There's in there's different. I would there watch the shit out of that. I mean, five dollar wrestling. You've <laughs> already played. Like, wouldn't that be ten dollar wrestling? <laughs> it's all ten dollar <laughs> okay, wrestling, technically. But you know, what if they reach out to these guys? They they or they develop it? Like I I fully fully expect that Cole Cabana gets hired by WWE and does Art of Wrestling for WWE. WWE.com, WWE Network, maybe he does a panel show or something, you know, where he's like, you know, frank discussions and stuff like that. Um, I can see it. I could mm -hmm. really see it. Maybe, you know, Mick Foley comes on and does a comedy sk a skit show or something, right? I mean, it becomes, you know, we always, they always say Monday Night Raw is like a variety hour, so their network is going to be a variety network at that point. Side note, you know what I really, really want to see? Tuesday Night Titans on the network. I think that'll be up there eventually. That better be, because all I've ever seen of Tuesday Night Titans was the best stuff they had at my local video store, and that was not <laughs> enough. Primetime wrestling. That's yeah, right, I was going to say, Bobby. The only thing in Gorilla stuff. Yep. They showed Tuesday Night Titans in primetime on the 24-7. Uh, oh, nice. They better so, bring it so, over then. Yeah. I don't see uh, Cole Cabana doing that, though, sort. No? No, because if he's signed by WWE and he's put on the, the WWE network and talks, that would be good enough for fans. But what Cole Cabana does is he's a professional wrestler and he wants to wrestle. He, he is one of the guys who 
has that style that he he's yes. a comedic wrestler. Yes. He's not only a comedic talker. I honestly. So, he, honest... so unless you're gonna have him do, like, go on the WWE Network as well as go to WWE Raw or SmackDown or even NXT. Like, I would like him in NXT as much as anybody. Um, but it, he wouldn't. I, I don't think he would give up wrestling just to be on WWE, WWE TV mm-hmm. without um, wrestling. All right. all right. I have a solution for Let's that. Let's say final round of thoughts, and then we're going to have to get out of here, guys. The um, Cole Cabana should be the new GM of Saturday Morning Slam. Obviously. Obviously. A wrestling yeah. GM of Saturday Morning Slam. That's the only show he's on. Mm-hmm. He's, okay. His gimmick is basically geared toward children anyway. Yeah. So put him on the show of children. Like, even, like, have Colt Cabana be the GM and have Matt Classic be a new wrestler on Saturday Morning Slam. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, I do like that idea. The, the network needs variety. They get beyond, obviously, it's got to be all about wrestling when they start, but eventually they've got to break that, break out of that. they got to find a way to create a network that is not a wrestling network. It's a network for wrestling fans. They need to Mm-hmm. They need that variety, and then they need to use that to try to find that killer app, that killer think, show that can yeah. draw Legends more House, I think, I think they want to see how Legends House does yeah. first. Yeah. Right, well, yeah. Well, you know, what happens is what's going to always happen. Eventually, it's just going to show cops like anything else. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Big boss, show, man. Like, all their Tom bad County, movies. Georgia. <laughs> always chasing nails. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, guys, thanks a lot. Hey, uh, shout outs. Hey, uh, 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 Hot Wheels will be representing over at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance show in West Newton, PA. Uh, we'll be setting the, the Sorgatron Media crew down there to be filming Good. that. Uh, should be a fun, fun show. Of course, they got a big show coming also at California sure. University here in April. Uh, go to rwalive.com for all the details on that. Right, right there, Wheels? Yes, sir. Awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun that night. Also, the same night, unfortunately, is uh, sure. IWC Wrestling.com. Yeah, IWCWrestling.com. You can go yes. over there, check out what's going on there. We'll talk about both shows here at more at length over at in, on the Indie Mayhem show this evening featuring Keith Hot, former IWC tag champ with uh, the great Colin Delaney, of course. I'm um, going to have fun with that. Uh, and, uh, of course, check out all this stuff. Uh, please check out our Patreon uh, on WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, uh, check us out on Facebook, on Google+, Plus, on uh, Twitter, at Mayhem Show. Uh, please join our Facebook group, Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of great conversation uh, going on there. And, of course, hit us up at our website, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Spreaker, Blip TV, Roku's, uh, S- uh, SoundCloud, I think. I, I've, I'm losing track. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. <laughs> um, and you can join us here live every Tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com around 9 p.m. Eastern time. I just saw the title selection for today. Um, <laughs> so uh, check out everybody else. Thanks a lot. Everybody here joining on the round table. Uh, again, please uh, join us on Twitter at Mayhem Show and all of our respective Twitter handles that uh, uh, they're, they're everywhere. Um I can't even remember. I all even of them. joined Instagram. Uh, the E Riz, Bobby F J Town, at Mad Mike four eight eight three, Matt Carlins. I'm at Sorgatron. Yep. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Hot Wheels R W A. Yep. Uh, I think that's everybody. <laughs> and with that, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.